Hello, I'm going to do a two pot shootout today. I've got a Winston growing in seaweed and leaves in a 10 inch pot and I've got some Autumn King 2 carrots growing in seaweed and leaves in a 10 inch pot. I've grown potatoes in seaweed and leaves before but never carrots. So I know what to expect from Winston, he's usually been a good a good cropper, um, so I'm expecting to get some Winston out of the pot. I may even get a couple of these potatoes split because as you know if you've been watching my videos, I've been harvesting potatoes lately that have had splits in. I think that's largely down to the weather because we've had a lot of wet weather up here in the north of England uh, this summer. And I think it's just uh, got in the bags of potatoes, it's got in the pots with the potatoes in and um, caused them to split. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if I find potatoes that are split, but I'm hoping for a good harvest from Winston. A pound, more than a pound would be great. Um, and the carrots, well it's an unknown quantity. As you know carrots uh, tend to fork if they strike anything that's hard uh, in the compost, in the soil. Um, and you get one leg, two legs, three legs, carrots. Uh, now this seaweed and leaf isn't exactly fine. It was just chopped and thrown in the pot. Um, so it's not really composted down yet. So I'm expecting maybe some of these carrots will be um, have one or more legs. Uh, but as I say, this is a first for me, so I don't know. So I'll just go and get the batter. We'll get the two pots and we'll do a review. Let's see what we get. Come on, get the pots, drop the lot. Two pot shootout, carrots and potatoes, both revealed. Let's do it. Come on, Mol, let's get the gear. So this is Winston in seaweed and leaves. Very wet. Very wet. There's a Winston snaking out. And another. Oh. And. Ha 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 ha. A split. Oh, there's a sweet potato. We don't want that. That one. Now, I'm afraid this compost has just got far too wet, and uh, some of it's probably of my doing. But the weather's been really wet. Made so it homegrown veg, like anywhere else, we can't control the weather. We just get what we get. And these guys stand outside on the patio. So, that's it. Right. I don't think there's any more in there. Let's pop these by guys here. Yeah? Now we'll get the scales. Wait. Not many. There's that little one for Molly. This way down. Enjoy that. Right. We'll get the scales and wear these guys in. Then we'll drop that pot of carrots. Okay, let's pop these guys on the scales. First potato. These two are sound. I think we'll get a pound. As you can see, I'm on the other side of the scales, but that's my guess. About a pound. Let's have a look. Oh, crikey! Oh, we're well chuffed with that, a pound and a half. But Molly can't take her eyes off them potatoes. Molly, you've had one. Let's see if we can find another titchy one in this, in this compost. But you're not having one off those scales because they're too big. No, oh, you've had it. Look, let's get these carrots done and you, you'll probably get a carrot. Okay, right. OK, 
Okay, as I think I said earlier, this is a first for me. Carrots grown in seaweed and leaves. Now, as I sawed these carrots, I actually didn't think they would uh, they would do anything because um, they just didn't have a very good contact with the surface of the seaweed and leaves. Um, but they've got away. Uh, this is Autumn King. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if I put my hand in the pot, up in my thumb, that's how far the seaweed and leaves has, uh, has rotted down while it's been in this pot. So the pot isn't even full of uh, seaweed and leaves. I'll go there. That's the surface of the seaweed and leaves. So there's only about six inches um, below these carrots. Uh, so I'm not too sure what to, in, well, I don't know what to expect. I've never done it before. Um, let's have a look. Come on, let's see. There we go. Can you see any yet? No, right. I suspect there might be a few in here that are split. Uh, not yes, yeah, split because it's been wet and four because this compost is fairly solid. Look, it doesn't want to break off. It's gonna have to break off. Seaweed and leaves, autumn king. And before your very eyes, wow! Oh, oh yeah! I don't know about you, mate. I don't know about you. Come on! I mean, all the seeds didn't strike. I can tell that now because I think I put about ooh, just short of 50 seeds in that pot. I used the, the grid method uh, to sow them. And so, what have we got here? We can actually count these because there aren't that many, but they're all good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Baker's dozen. Baker's dozen from a 10 inch pot. Seaweed and leaves. So you can grow carrots in seaweed and leaves just as you can grow potatoes in them. And they're so clean. Honestly, there's not a mark on them. You could eat that right now. I'm not going to. Molly, Molly's going to get one though. Aren't you, Molly? Which one we're going to give you? There's a small one. Oh, we're going to have to give you one, aren't we? Because we promised you one. Hold on. This looks to be about the smallest. So we'll give Molly this one, shall we? Do you want that one more? Hold on. Well, apparently people want to see you eating this carrot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that and I'm going to take the camera off the stand and then I'm going to try and keep it on you while you eat this carrot. Think you can do that? Don't be taken off down the garden because I'm not running after you. Just hold on. Okay, we're off the stand. I want to give Molly this carrot and I'm going to try and stay with her while she woofs it. Okay. There you go, Molly. How's that? A great eyesight, this dog. Rabbits love carrots. You never saw bugs bunny wearing glasses. Get your carrots knocked in the air. Well, he just loves them. Don't you, Mole? Have you noticed the greens left? Just the carrot gets eaten. Oh, great dog. Well, that's a result, isn't it? Carrots grown in seaweed and leaves, potatoes grown in seaweed and leaves. It's own grown veg. Signing out. Come on, Walt, let's get tidied up.